future residents parking only. Don't mind if I do. I never ended up uploading my apartment hunting video because I was so disappointed with the way I filmed it that every time I would try to edit it, I would just get frustrated. But today I decided we're just gonna work with it. Let's start off with the apartment I liked least out of the three. All right, funny story about apartment number three. Um, we've actually lived here before. <laughs> and being back here is uh, giving me a weird vibe. I don't, I don't know if I can move back in, but they did remodel them, so let's just see how they look. Okay, so already I'm liking what I'm seeing. They've redone the exterior, so it feels like a different apartment, which is nice mentally. On paper, this apartment was the best out of the three because it was the most spacious and the cheapest priced at $2,300 a month for a three bedroom. But I couldn't get past the fact that I had lived there before with my ex and I actually got a little emotional talking about it when I originally filmed this. I would also be just feeling like something went really wrong in my life to be back. Picking that place would have just made me feel like I was taking so many steps back in life. And so although it was financially the best choice, mentally, I couldn't get past that. Yeah, the bathroom looks the same. I remember this, this feel, this vibe. I checked them out because I was curious to see if I would feel any sort of way and I know if I didn't I would be like damn right now I could be saving so much money if I might have picked those blah 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 glad I'm checking them out but they were a definite though no. let's move on to my reaction of the apartments I almost picked I was this close about to walk into the first apartment oh my god I'm so excited right now this is crazy oh dude this is bigger than I thought especially from looking at the pictures whoa Oh, dude, it looks good. Nice and modern. Love that. I'm seriously in love with the way they decorated this place, though. Damn, dude. Oh, look at the walk-in closet. Dude. Oh, this nice. is way more than I need. This is the guest bathroom. I really did like these ones. Their price was decent at $2,500 a month for a three bedroom. They were the only ones with an attached garage, which is so convenient and nice. And their location was the best. They were the closest to Kira's house, the kids' school, and all the food restaurants I go to. I actually even left there believing that those were the ones I was gonna be living in. This place is beautiful, great location, right in the middle of everything. That was until I saw these apartments. By the entrance. This nice. place is sick, huh? <laughs> Let's see how this place looks. Oh, whoa. I'm blown away. This place is sick. These apartments amenities were the best by far. Beautiful pool, gym, huge gym, game room. The living areas were also the nicest. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. Are, am I allowed to have kids in this place? Yes, you are. Okay, <laughs> this place looks so fancy that I was starting to question it. Like, yo. <laughs> and they're still very close to the kids' school and Kira's house, which is great. Oh, bathroom. Oh my god, look at that. Whoa, I'm obsessed with this place. Holy crap. I'm in love. Oh my god, the closet though? That's nice. But they do come at a cost. For a three bedroom, it's $2,700 a month. That blows my mind. At times, paying rent alone makes me question whether I made the right decision. But here's the thing. I feel like I would have been settling for those other ones just for convenience sake. They were just like, eh. They were all right, they didn't excite me very much. Like when I walked into these apartments, I was like, whoa, yo, that feeling of inspiration, like, oh, I could do this, I love the gray, I love the blacks. I kind of hate that I said that because it's such a cliche, unrelatable YouTuber thing to say. Oh, I just want to feel inspired. I need a nice, fancy, expensive place to feel inspired. <laughs> Am I just validating my, my stupid financial decision? No, I like this place. I'm happy with it. 
Although I will say my ego was a little bit involved at the time because I was dating and I do remember thinking like, oh, if I get a girl over here, the place is gonna be so nice, she's gonna love it, she's gonna love me. <laughs> so, so that's the only time my ego came into play with this place. As stupid as that might have sounded, and as much as that hurt to realize that I said, it is true, the happier I feel, the easier it is to make content because I'm in a good mood. It's easy. I know I would have liked and been content with those apartments if I chose them, but I do think over time I would have had a little bit of regret thinking, oh man, those other ones were so much nicer. And after all the regrets of 2022, I didn't even want to chance that. I didn't want there to be an option to have regrets. And so I chose this place. I'm happy with it. I think I made the right choice. Actually, I know I made the right choice. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't already second guessing my decision to rent out a place instead of buy my own place. I actually have been thinking about this a lot lately. I don't want to get too into it because only time will tell and that's a conversation for a separate video. Anywho, I hope this video wasn't as terrible as I imagined it to be. I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know if you did down below. And that's it. That's pretty much it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!